The smell was brought into this area in this canyon in 1924. It originally was in Coleman Valley. It stayed there for 10 years until the timber run out and then we brought it over here in 1924 and it was going to log out this canyon and then it was going to be moved elsewhere. But about 1924 is where the trucks came to play so people started bringing in logs so the mill consequently stayed and the logs were brought to the mill rather than the mill to the logs. And it's been running, it ran till 19, 24 up until 1964. I'm a partner with Bob Sturgeon and this old sawmill, uh, which was uh, formerly run by his father, Ralph Sonoma Sturgeon, and, and my father, James Einer Henningsen. And uh, Ralph and my father were high school friends, and uh, back in, I think, 1943, Ralph asked my dad if he would go into partnership with them, with uh, with Ralph in the, in this mill, and uh, they shook hands on it and were in business for I think 25 years. This mill sat uh, just fallow for about almost 35 years and. Uh, in 1965, I became Ralph Sturgeon's partner in the mill, and I was, at the time I was teaching, and I was all over the world. In 1993, the mill had a 40-year reunion, and there were seven individuals that came together and decided that this would be a good idea to restore this mill. And we stood right off to the left here, around uh, Ralph's old 1949 GMC pickup, and we each put down a hundred dollar bill and that was a seed money and the interesting thing about that is that seventy years earlier Wade Sturgeon Ralph Sturgeon's father bought the original equipment for this mill the Joshua Handy head rig the Atlas steam engine for seven hundred dollars same amount that we put down um, and so we thought that was a good good luck sign the, the main steam engine down below that we call it the Atlas it's 1850 vintage and it originally came out of the San Francisco Mint and I believe we're the third owners of the steam engine and it's, it, been, it runs just as sweet now as it ever does. And what we have in mind with this sawmill is putting it back like it was in yesteryear and make a, a, a museum out of it, a running museum to show people how it was done yesteryear. And we pretty much got it squared away now like it was. We got it all steam. We took all the electricity out except for the lights. And uh, for what you see is, is pretty much like it was back in the early 30s and the 20s. It's been a 40-year dream of mine to see the mill running again. And it's, uh, it's very gratifying that uh, it is up and running again.